Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a PCF control I created. Uh, it is a loading spinner uh, using Fluent UI so it matches Microsoft's theme. So let me show you how it's being used. Uh, we got a simple form here to get in data and whenever I click save, I create an overlay which shows the spinner spinning and then goes away. Um, it has a real native look and feel to it. So let me introduce you to the PCF component. It's real simple. Um, it's a spinner. You can choose a size, medium, small, extra small. Maybe we'll leave it large for now. Label position, you can do right, top, left, or bottom. And then, of course, the spinning label, you can change to call it whatever you want. You can call it saving, or whatever you would like to call it. And, of course, it has a visible flag. So, whenever, what we could do here is, I have two buttons here. I have a show spinner and a hide spinner button right here. And so I want to have one select of the show spinner. I'm going to create a context variable. So I'm going to show spinner to true. And then on the hide spinner, I can say, I can set it to false. And then what I can do here, I can set the visible flag equal to show spinner. And then yeah, just clicking these, I can hide or show it. And you can basically do that within your app with a simple flag. Uh, and I'll show you how that was implemented in the example. So we're going to implement this loading screen now. First thing is what we're going to do is we are going to add a, con a regular container and put it right here. And then we're going to set the X and Y both to zero. And then set the width and height to the to the size of the apps width and height. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. So let's just make it gray. And then we're going to choose, we're going to make it see-through. So we'll right about there. There looks good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add our PCF control to our application. So first you got to import it. And then you come back here. We go to code components. You can now see the spinner is not included. And you add it. Let's go ahead and make it visible. And then we're going to make it large. Change the position of the label to right, say loading, and then we're going to make the X so it lines up within the uh, container. We're going to do parent dot width divided by two minus self dot width divided by two, so that lines up horizontally. And then we're going to do the same thing over here with height, and that lines it vertically. Oops, there we go. So now we're going to leave the, the spinner always visible. And what we're actually going to do, do is control the visibility of the container that holds the spinner. So that way, anytime we want to show this overlay loading screen, the spinner will already be visible. So just to do that, first what we're going to do is on visible, we're going to create a flag that is going to call, be called show loading screen. And we're going to default it to false. And then we're going to go and set the visibility of the container to that. And then on the save button now, right now what it does, all it does is submit form. What we're going to do is we're going to set that show loading screen to true. Call submit form. And once submit form is done, we'll set the loading screen back to false. So then whenever we input the information here, we'll do test, add a phone number, and a city, and click save. You can see the screen really close up. I can't click on anything. The spinner's going, and then once this is done, it all goes away. We can now reselect everything. I hope this is helpful, and I hope the spinner will help you in any of your applications. The link to the GitHub repository will be added in the description. Uh, the, you can download the source code and import it yourself, or the solution is also available in the repo for you to simply download the zip file and install it to your, to your environment.
If you have any questions, please post them below. Thanks for watching.